few months ago, I got convinced that I was not reading enough. So I decided that I was going to start reading one book every week. So it happens that reading one book every week is easier than I thought. And I don't have to tell you that such heavy reading has changed my life because every one of us knows that books have the power to change our lives. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that help me to read one book every week. I know some of the things I'll say in this video will not go well with a lot of people, but I can't help but tell you what works for me. If you're new here, you should subscribe so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Buy too many books After I decided to start reading a book every week to take myself up with a new challenge I gave myself, I had to go to a bookstore and buy many books. After getting home with a bag full of books, I started feeling guilty every day that I didn't read. I mean, I knew that I had invested my money to buy unreasonable numbers of books and I know that right there inside these books are knowledge, secrets and ideas that can change my life. How on earth can I live a day without reading some of the pages of these books? With this guilt, I just have to read. I think this is a simple strategy but it can work for you because if you can buy a lot of books, you can convince yourself to read some of them and as you read a few of them, it's like cocaine. You get addicted to reading and that can transform your life. Have your bookshelves in front of you. As I write the script for this video, I have my bookshelf right in front of me. Whenever I want to look up, I easily see my books, many new books. This is to increase the pressure I give myself. If you can look up now and then in your office and see your bookshelf and you know that 10 to 15 of those books are new, you'll be crazy not to find time to read. For some people who don't have a personal office, you can take like three books to work every day. Make one of them the book you're reading and two other new books. I hope this helps you to read more. Sell your TV set Well, one of the reasons why I am a crazy reader is because I've never bought a TV in my life. My father once gave me a TV set. Guess what? I sold it. Was I a bastard? I've never bought a TV so I don't have a TV set in my home. How does this help me to read? You see, television is the most interesting thing I've ever seen and that is the problem. Because TV is very interesting, it's attractive and addictive. With a TV box in your home, it's easier to have seven interesting programs you have to catch up with. It's easier to have three reality shows you mustn't miss and it's easier to sit down and consume all of the movies in the world. If you don't have a TV set, then you are more likely to turn to books for your entertainment and I tell you, nothing gives you more entertainment and great knowledge like books. Do I mean you should literally go sell your TV set? Yes, if you can. Don't tell yourself that you're too busy. Most people tell themselves that they are busy and that's why they cannot have time to read. Guess what? The busiest people in the world are the ones who read most books. For instance, an average American reads one book per year while an average millionaire reads 50 books a year. If you think millionaires are not busy, you're not telling yourself the truth. For instance, Bill Gates is known to be reading 50 books every year. If you think you're busier than Bill Gates, then you're not busier than the US President. Obama was reading one hour every day when he was the US President. If the busiest president in the world can find one hour to read, my friend, you can find one to read every day. Learn fast reading I am learning fast reading myself, so I'm not an expert. But ever since I started, I noticed that it's not as difficult as I thought. And believe me, if you do it right, you won't lose much comprehension through fast reading. Commit with a friend one of the things I did when I wanted to start reading one book per week is to ask one of my friends to join me. I didn't ask me to join me in reading a book per week because that may scare him. Instead, we agreed to read one book per month and because I'm such a crazy competitive idiot who always wants to outdo everyone, having a friend who is reading a book per month with me means that I would want to outdo him and that led me into reading four to five books every month. We're all lazy. So, asking your friends to join you in the challenge to read certain number of books per month can help you become accountable. Delete your social media accounts I honestly believe that no human being needs more than one social media account. The only exception to the rule is if you make money on social media. 
If you don't make money on social media and you have three social media accounts, I think you should be expelled from the human race. You see, social media is as dangerous as TV. It's interesting and that's my problem. When something is interesting, it will be addictive. You don't want to be addicted to anything except things that give you money or make your life better in a significant way. How on earth can you find time to read books when you're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and WhatsApp? I know what some of you will say in the comments. You criticize social media and you're on YouTube. Some people have said that to me in the past. What you don't know is that the first video I posted on YouTube was for my business until this very day. I make money on YouTube every hour and I'm not exaggerating. I make money on YouTube every hour, weekdays or weekends when I am sleeping or traveling. If you make money on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter or you use them to promote your life or brand in any way, why won't you spend 8 hours every day on those platforms? But if you make no money or use social media to advance your life in any way, I don't know why you'll ever need more than one social media account. The more hours you spend on social media, the less time you have to read. Know why you must read I think more than anything, the reason why most people don't read is that they don't know why they must read. Here is the thing, the more you learn, the more you earn, period. The more you know, the more you can do and the more you do, the more success you can have. Think about reading this way, 99% of human beings read one book a year. If you read 10 books, that means you're likely to know 10 times more than most people. If I know 10 times more than you, I can outperform you 50 times. If I know what you don't know, I can do what you can't do and I've seen that again and again in my life. Once I read a book by Dan Kennedy. It's a marketing book and I can't even remember its title right now. A few days after I read that book, something I learned from the book gave me a better insight into my business and that single idea changed my life completely. That doesn't mean that every book you read will give you an idea that will revolutionize your life. No. Some books give little insights, some give you an idea that makes you better in the way you deal with another human being while some give you the information you wouldn't even need until the next 10 years. But that cumulative effect of all these little drops of water is what will change your entire life. If you know the reason why you must read, you'll read. Do you know about our inspirational channel? We call it Hunt TV and we use the channel to inspire people like you who want to do great things with their lives. Look at the description box to see the link to Hunt TV. Join the Hunt TV and we'll give you daily inspiration until you achieve your dreams.